Hey, on a bike again. Are you ready to go out and find some history? Well, you come to the right place. <laughs> welcome to the History Hunter and welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Why are we on bikes? Well, I'm gonna fill you in. We are at a German World War II stronghold position up in the mountainsides. The Germans needed to protect a very important road that is down here. And uh, they did a lot of installments there. And then as time went by, boom, that is what it looked like for many, many years. It was totally unknown, forgotten, and people didn't know that was anything there. Then they chopped down the forest and suddenly it looked more like what it used to do when the Germans found out that they needed to protect this road by any means. And we are now on an expedition to go out and find different locations up there that hasn't been seen for so many years. That's why we're on bikes. You want to come along? Then let's go out and find the history together right now. Yep, me and Eagle Eyes out on another adventure. Bikes again. Yeah, with bikes. That is because this place is so remote. No, it's not remote. It's the only way actually to get up there in a simple way. Um, we are going to find some very unique German installations that were very important for the Germans because they actually were here to protect a special stretch of road. And these, that road that we're on now didn't exist during those days, but we are going to use that to get high up in the ground, in the mountainside, and we're going to find what's been buried for like 60 years because of the forest has been cut down and suddenly things are coming out of the ground that no one has seen for a very long time. So that's going to be very interesting. So that is welcoming. You can actually cool down, put your head in there and just, oh, that's soothing. We're going to do that. All right, a little update here. These roads, they were very important for the German activity, sorry, the German control of the area. See these roads here? They were gravel roads during those days, like that one. And we started down there and climbed the hill, climbed the mountain, all the way up here. And uh, let me see if I can get on the edge here. This was the highest vantage point. And this is what the Germans needed. They needed to have control of the activity down on these roads that led into a very strategically important area. So if you have control of the higher grounds, well, you have control of most of the things here. So down here, after they chopped off or cut down the forest, there are features and I can see some running trenches going down there. So our target is to find at least two or five bunkers here. So you can see, well, we had the track with the bikes all the way around here, but it's so much easier to walk in 25 degrees Celsius plus up these insane hills in the potholes and the cut down trees and all of that. All right, we're gonna show you something pretty amazing here. In the terrain here, there's just this little ridge here. And then suddenly Eagle Eyes, he said, there's gotta be something down there. But look where you are. And yes, there's a freaking Regelbau, a German bunker down there. That is crazy. And they kind of just forgot about it when they created the road up here. And down there, this is the first proof of the German activity way up here in the mountainside. And I hope I have a little flashlight with me. So, why did I put it up here? Well, as I said, they needed to have control of the area. And to do so, they needed to make sure that the troops could stay here for a longer time, period of time. And they did that by creating these insane bunkers in the middle of absolutely freaking nowhere. And that is a pretty hefty built bunker as well. 
And that means that anywhere around here, I mean absolutely anywhere around here, there will be firing uh, observation posts, near the fence positions, all of that. And very often they will be further down because on the top, this is the spot where they would hide away. Holy cow, I'm very surprised to see that this thing is here. And it's been covered with forest for like 60 plus years. So I'm very, very excited to go inside and see if it's untouched. But holy cow, we never expected to see that because this one isn't visible from the uh, aerial photos whatsoever. What? Yeah, that is all we have. What all right, S1 baton. Baton? Hope it works. <laughs> That's all we have. We forgot the other ones. Wow, this is crazy, 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 crazy. Okay, come on. Yeah, it's a good searchlight or flashlight. Boom. Let's hope that not the graffiti idiots has been here. Wow, it is actually a proper Regelbau. El Licht, oi, scheiße. Licht, that means it's not heavy, heavy duty fortify. You can see L here as well. Light tank. No, light armor. So this oh, is half pipe style. That is pretty crazy. Ooh. Oh, come and have a look, eagle eyes. Hold that there, please hold that there. Am I seeing this? That is the rarest of the rarest to see that lid there. Yeah, the 15 and 16, all of these knobs and Things had a purpose here. They're number? actually turning. See, they're turning. This is so weird. What are they made in? This is communication and power what supply. That's backlight, I think. And then you have these knobs in backlight. Holy pancake. And the lid is still there. That is absolutely crazy. Yeah, we'll check in the other room, but I think this is where the uh, Power and communication things came in. Okay, let's see. Hello? Nothing. So, half pipe ventilation. Did we expect to find this up here in the mountainside? Definitely not. Definitely not. And they painted it white. That means that they actually used it. Because when they painted it white, it will kind of be much more cozier, brighter. Wow! Never, never expected this. That is absolutely unheard of. There's a mountain retreat. Look there, there's a little wooden thing there. Wow! That is crazy. What is that? Well, that's a piece of glass actually all the way up there. And what's in there then? Huh. Crazy cool. And as you can see, not too many has been here. So this was a freaking jackpot right away, L. And it's been left alone. And please let it stay like that for a very long time. So that whoever does their research, as we do, we do travel, we do a lot of research, we do all of this stuff to share with all of you, so we work for you. <laughs> so thank you for being in the forest and please check out the Patreon and PayPal solutions to support our work. We highly appreciate that. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you in this manner and fashion here by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays? You can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description. You can click that and you can become a Patreon team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with for your eyes only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. Yeah, research do pay off. And if I'm knackered, yeah, you know why? See where the frick I am. And yes, freaking yes. Right there is another position. Look at the view they have. That is why they put these positions here. That is to be able to control the valley. And that's what this position is all about. Let's head on over there and check it out. 
Oh yeah. What I love about these positions is that they're untouched. They've been up here for so long, people forgot them. Then they chop down the forest, the log people will find them, talk about them. But basically, they will be untouched. And uh, that is just fantastic. Holy cow, I'm tired, but wow, look at that thing there. That is either a motor position or a machine gun position. And you want to see how much control they have? Remember the road I told you about? Well, that is exactly why you find this thing up here. There are munition pockets further down. Entrance area right here. There's a tree kind of covering the rest. Let me do that. See that? There's a stair coming up. And boom, right there. An image maybe like this. Could be appropriate, I don't know. But holy cow, you want to see the view again. And that's the serious end of this location that they really needed to protect the roads from the Allied intervention. And these were the old roads that were here before the other ones. So they could really be up here and take as much punishments as you can throw up then because they were on higher grounds and they were the kings on the top here, not the intruders coming down there. So my intuition said to me, where did these guys stay? And I just continued a little bit, a little bit, a little bit further up. <laughs> that is exactly where they stayed. Holy Madonna. I don't believe my own eyes here. How can we be so lucky to find this so untouched way up here in the mountainside because they chopped down the forest? Never seen anyone say anything about this. Never seen anyone does any comment, shown the material of them. So I think we are actually the first in the world to do that. And this thing here is massive. This is a elegant a Lichter. Let's have a look. And we are going back in time, everybody. Holy Madonna. And we are definitely going to go inside with our small little flashlight again. L. Yeah, again, the two rooms. Always lucky. These are the same type of things on the top here. And uh, that one doesn't have the lid. It's a bit different, but I guess these will still work. Yeah, they do. You can actually screw them up and down and they could have been attached with cables today if you wanted to. And there are the original cable clamps. So they came in, they took the uh, gear and uh, that is the only thing that is left. <laughs> wow, I'm loving this. Let's see, we have, yeah, we have the L. This room is completely kind of clean, nice. Oh, it's very cool inside here. No markings except from the L that says it's kind of able to withstand some kind of uh, attack. Um, this has been shut, it seems, by something, but at least we have the exit here. We have our L. Oh my goodness, this is great. So great. This is just getting better and better and better and better. <laughs> found even another one. Remember, this is on the high grounds. And uh, <laughs> wow, if that's not special, I don't know what is. Look at that placement. And then boom, road taken care of. Wow. And these would never have been discovered if it hasn't been for the logging activity here. And uh, you can see the forest. Well, it used to be like that. So these have been in the forest all the way since the Second World War. They were never removed, they were never touched, and they're still here.
and I'm loving each and every freaking second of it because I'm actually showing things that probably nobody else has shown you and that's what it's all about. Go out, find history and share history in a very special way and that is why we need you to do this. Give us a thumbs up, give us a likes, show other people our material, share, 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 comment, comment, watch our videos in full and if not, who the heck else will give you such an incredible view to enjoy when we are out? We do, and we do it with great honor and pride, just for you. That is freaking makeshift field positions. I don't believe my eyes see that. That is something that was put up here before the Germans managed to create the structures and, and uh, fortified constructions because they needed to protect these. Look at that. This is the... the um Holy cow, I never expected to see that. You see, this has been chopped and cut. So this could be the, uh, the uh, mountaineers coming up here and manning this position before they started doing anything. And you see that? That is what they used to kind of put a shell on the top. Holy cow, this is crazy. These are positions that were handcrafted, made by the German soldiers before they had the opportunity to get concrete and all of that up here. Oh my goodness, another one. We never expected that. Beautiful example. Wow. It is absolutely beautiful and look at that oh wow the entrance is here this is where they put the mg and there will be some munition uh pockets to put the munition in here there see that very nice this is an mg perfect position and you were right yeah wow Oh wow, be careful, yeah. you're going to fall right down into the bunker, yeah. come over here, no look at that, stairs going down, you have to be careful, because this, no wow, look at that, wow, seems like there were some hinges once upon a time, but see how well hidden this thing is, okay, be careful here. It's a bit. It's it's a bit slippery here. Okay. Yeah. I make fire and power, and you make wind. Wow! Another one. And there is actually camouflage. This is special. See that line there? See that different colors? This is camouflage pattern. Still in the wall there. That is crazy. Yeah, on both sides. It's on the top under. Yeah. Yeah, they have some camouflage there as well, color. But this is crazy. And another L. L? Wow, this looks pretty, pretty, pretty untouched. Pretty untouched. It's a bit wet. Let's go inside. Yep. And the lid is right there. It's been taken off. That is seriously wrong. That should not be laying down there. Look at all the connection points there. Once upon a time, someone ripped that open and left it there. These can be kind of taken off if you want to, these caps here. But they're stuck, corrosion. Yep. But why did I rip off that? That's just not fun. Wow. Same here. Just communication equipment, maybe a telephone, radio. And uh, then... This box here. Next room. Uh, you go behind me. I'll check it out. I have the light. I am the king. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a bit wet. But then again, it's been here for such a long time without any ventilation or whatever. Wow. Incredible place. Was that cool or what? What a surprise to find all of these features up there. If it hadn't been for the forest being cut down, nobody would have seen this. This is actually, we are the first in the world to show and document and just share material from this location for sure. So thank you for that. Um, 
please give a subscribe, a comment, hit the notification bell, do all of that good stuff to help us out. As I said, check out if you want to become a Patreon supporter and you have these beautiful artifacts that you could be the future keeper of, you know. So other than that, we have hundreds of videos for you to en enjoy. So just check them out if you want to. We are off to a new adventure. Hope to see you there. Thank you for being here. Stay safe, keep smiling and goodbye.